Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon or Deepest Dungeon, our little adventure game where we're learning to program object oriented programming by doing a text based adventure game. Um, and we're doing that in Python. So, so far we have got a long, long way. In fact, we're almost finished. What we have done is that we have made rooms, we have connected those rooms so we can move between the rooms, we have established a um, characters that exist in those rooms. We have made those characters into either friends or fen enemy, two different categories of them. We have different interactions with them according to what their categories are. We have items by which that we can actually interact with the characters with, and those items exist in the room. And if you have the right item, if you have the particular weakness item, when you fight an enemy, then you will actually kill an enemy. If not, then you die. So what we're going to do in this stage, stage seven, is we're going to start keeping a track of the number of enemies that actually are in the overall dungeon. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to have a victory condition. When you have finally killed all the enemies actually that exist in the um, that exist in the dungeon, then you are fine. You can actually say, right, um, we have won the game. So that's how we're going to go about doing that. So how we how are we going to achieve all this? Well, first off, we're going to do three things. We're going to record the number of enemies that actually exist. We're going to reduce their number each time that we kill someone. Um, and then when we're going to say victory when all enemies are vanquished. And how are we going to do that? Well, the only thing that's changing in our UML here is two things. First off, you'll see this here. Enemy dot num of enemy integer. Now this is a this is a class variable. This variable actually spans all the different objects um, that have been created in the en using the enemy class. So every instance of it, this variable can access this particular variable. And then down the bottom here, we have a function, an another method called get num of enemy, which returns the integer of how many enemy that actually are left in the game. So let's fire up Thonny and get this cracking. To start with, we've got to find ourselves in the character, um, in the character file, the character script. And then we're going to come down to, we don't have to change anything in the character class or the friend class. I'm going to get into the enemy class. And I'm going to come up to here. And then before the um, the builder method, um, the define init, <coughs> before that builder method, we are going to actually put in here a new variable. This variable, as I said, is a special kind of variable that all functions, so all objects, instances of enemy can access the value of this and influence this this variable. So it can, um, it's not, it's not replicated or limited to each individual instance. So we're going to set that for zero. Now that's good. We start at zero, but then how are we going to increase the enemies in there? Well, when we make a new enemy and we actually define that, we use the init function or the builder um, method to actually create that, or the constructor to create that. So in here, we are simply going to increase and I'm going to refer to this variable. To refer to this variable, I don't say self, because self only refers to this particular instance. Instead, I'm going to refer to all enemies, which is the stuff up here. So I'm going to say enemy dot num of enemy. Right here. And I'm going to um, plus equals that. So increase that by one. So that's the same as saying enemy dot num of enemy equals enemy dot num of enemy plus one. It's just shorthand for doing that. Okay, so we've done that. So we now, whenever we create an enemy, this is going to increase in value. Um, and that's awesome. That's great. But how do we know? So what do we need to do here is, so that's not going to change anything. When I when I go over and I run, if I save this and if I run main and I'm going to run this and it goes and I've created, and in there, unbeknownst to us, there would actually be um, enemy dot num of enemy equals one because we actually made a Eugene and Eugene is enemy and it will be in there but we don't know that value we can't get that value from here so we need to construct something or make something a method that allows us to get that value and return that value to the main program so I'm going to come back to again to character and down the bottom of enemy I'm going to make my new method so that's going to be here define and the method is just simply get num um, of um, enemy radio and open close I don't need anything to be passed in with that and again I don't need to pass self into that because this is referring to an overall um, referring to an overall function radio so we go into here and I'm going to go enter and return um, enemy 
dot num of enemy and that's just going to return that particular value when we actually run that function okay so now we've done that we've gone there we've created our number of enemy and the last thing i need to do is we need to make the faction at the moment we can get the information there but we're not reducing the enemy down to zero so when do we actually reduce the number of enemies when we slay an enemy so if we come back that occurs in our fight method so let's say fight self etc if item equals self weakness so you've actually if item equals self dot weakness you've actually killed the enemy so in here before we say return true i'm going to come into here and i am going to say reduce enemy um, dot num of enemy minus equals one so it's going to reduce that down to one every time we actually kill an enemy rightio so i've done that now i need to make some changes in our main program so i'm going to come across to main here and the little changes we need to make where do we need to make those so a little change we're going to make in here is within the actual fight function so what we go through is we've come down we said if weapon is available in room if current room character equals fight um, weapon then current room character um, equals none so that means if you successfully slayed someone you have then changed the character to none. You've deleted the person from there. And the last thing we need to do now is we need to test in whether, in removing that person, that they've actually the last one who's been removed. So we need to check if um, enemy dot um, get number of enemy open close. If that equals zero, then you have one. In which case we need to say print and it's going to copy this and go there you have slain all the enemies you are victorious awesome and just leave it as that you don't have to add anything else because it's only going to occur if the hits zero so if we now run that that should all work fine let's give it a try and I'm going to, it's all saved, everything's saved. I'm going to run play, all right? You're in there, so I know I need to go south, and then I know I need to go east so I can get the cheese. I'm going to take the cheese and come back to the west because I know that Eugene's weakness is cheese because I kind of cheating, I know this. And so I sit there and I say, right, I'm going to fight Eugene. What are you going to fight with? I'm going to fight with cheese because I've got some in my backpack. And look at um you have slain all the armies you're victorious you're in the oh no it hasn't stopped why hasn't it stopped ah because after here we need to turn running to false okay that was a little mistake let's go through that whole process again and run okay so south uh east take west fight cheese and you are victorious then why has that not stopped because i've mistyped running so i'm getting very good at doing the speed run of my little dungeon at the moment um it's just i need to actually succeed so i've typed running in properly this time running does equal actually equal false so one last go to see if we can get this right here we go um south East, take, west, uh, fight, cheese. Hey, we're victorious. Right, so you will fight, well, you fight with cheese, you strike Yuji down with cheese, you have slain all the enemy, you are victorious. Awesome. So that is done. I've Let's go through and just have a check back at our little to-do list that we wanted to achieve so we have recorded the en enemy's numbers yes we have reduced the enemy numbers and then victory when all enemies are vanquished yep so that is stage seven complete it's a nice little sweet short start stage um but that's it that's all we need to have done you might want to go through and make sure it's the same if you've added another room with another enemy or have additional enemies to so make sure what happens that you need to get rid of both enemies for that to occur but it should flow across quite naturally so uh, one more stage to go and then we've completely finished so see you later